My name is Fidencio Martinez. My name is Gonzalo Pinilla. My name is Patricia Leon. We are from Colombia. I'm from Mexico. Well, um, it was my first year of graduate school, and I had Gonzalo come up to me and tell me that uh, he had this idea about starting a project or uh, maybe the lack of engagement between the Latino community and the arts just in general here in Iowa. Um, and then with that idea, we thought maybe, maybe we need to create a space of our own where we meet with other people uh, that speak Spanish, not only are from our countries, but just speak Spanish or um, are from Latin America, but uh, ha have the same thing that we have in common of like coming here and feeling different uh, or maybe not in place. Um, and we just happen to know art, so we thought that we would teach a little bit of what we knew. Yeah, and so we were looking for places where the Latino community gathered, so going to churches and going to um, community centers in order just to to have uh, um, possibilities for, for meeting people there and and trying to convince there to come here and to and to participate and to just have a a good time learning and discovering like new ways of uh, expressing themselves. We, we sort of turned to avenues that we already had connections with, so I went to the Center for Worker Justice and told them about the project, and that's where we, uh, we got a, a large majority of our participants from, um, because I was doing some work there, and uh, Patricia and uh, Gonzalo used to go to church, had gone a few times, so they had that, um, they felt a little bit more comfortable going in there and asking Father Rudy if, if he would be willing to let us speak. We, we, we speak with the Father Ruby in San Patrick Church and he was very open of mind and so the, he accept the project there. So they provide us a, a room for a, a starting the project there, like the first day. And then we went to San Joseph Church and the same, uh, the Father Gregory it was so so nice with us and opened uh, uh, one of the rooms for us, and we also have uh, all the space for doing all workshops there. The church was one of I think it might be one of the only spaces in West Liberty where people actually come together and have some a little bit of culture. Um, they use the back room as a place where people have their quinceañeras, baptism, communions, just birthday parties. Uh, and he talked about how there's nothing in the town uh, that's engaging and cultural. Uh, and it's a town full of people that just work, work all day from morning until night. And they wake up the next morning and they do it again and they do it again. And then Sunday comes and it's like their one free day and mm -hmm. they go to church. And it just, it's a, it's a very weird, uh, maybe a good thing that it's sort of like becoming this, this little hub, um, a little culture in itself. So I think, and yeah, he mentioned why project like Invisible Faces was uh, really needed. Something, uh, not just us, but like something else probably. The name, I really liked it just because of the politics behind it. Um, you can get into the logistics of like what it means to be undocumented or in the shadows, but um, the project wasn't just about undocumented people, it was about Latinos in general. But even Latinos here in Iowa City feel, um, I think, very alienated. I mean. For the most part, um, people are used for labor, for this, and they're kept in the back, literally in the restaurant, um, in the fields or whatever. Um, it's the connotations of immigration or Latinos is always in the back for me. Um, yeah, and then I, I, I personally just felt alienated being in um, an MFA program and seeing only like one or two brown faces never speaking Spanish, so uh, the name really stuck with me. Yes, and also, for example, uh, when we start thinking about the idea to how to call the project, uh, uh, I try to, in my, I, when I came here, I tried to study in the university, but yeah, I only can pay one course uh, here to practice uh, sculpture and photography in, in between. 
but uh, in the in that in that in that case, uh, I I understand the Latino people that it's a little difficult to afford to enter to the university to pay for it. So what's the initial idea that we we can contribute in some way uh, to provide that we know that the, the things that we know to share our experience, our little knowledge or knowledge that we have. So it's, it's, it's that the beginning maybe uh, about the project and the, uh, and the invisible because we, the, we try to do things, but sometimes, but it was impossible because the money is one of the things that we can do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and, and also, yeah, the, the good thing was that, yeah, the things we were learning at the university, we were just directly, repeating. yeah, repeating. <laughs> so it was like sharing what the, the opportunity we have because we are, as uh, we mentioned, we are in the, in the MFA program. And, and so, yeah, it's, it's kind of no hiding knowledge and trying to be selfish about just keeping that for ourselves and trying to be a big artist but yeah. it's an artist that that share with the community and yeah the, the invisibility of people we, we were trying to because we were sharing with them we were that um, and they were coming here so we were trying to make it visible and here in a space and, and people were like recognizing them because they were working with us, and so it was kind of the way of, of uh, connecting and, and yeah, and... Creating a good community, uh, a strong community that don't be, uh, how to say, behind. Marginalized. Yes, yeah, marginalized. Not know that sharing all the spaces in Ayuba is for everybody, mm -hmm. no, the art is for everybody, so, so is, is that the way that we try to... We start the project with the photography part. Uh, it was uh, very, for me, it was very interesting. Uh, I used I used to be a, a teacher in Colombia uh, in, in photography for about twelve years. So uh, I had a little experience how to, you know, to be with the people and encourage to do something. Uh, well, so. It, it's, uh, it was very, uh, for me it was very, I was very happy because I can share the, the things that I know and uh, pass my, uh, uh, these ideas and this uh, experience for them. So we started in the, we make a, we made a, a dark room uh, up in the, the floor. So it was very nice when the when the people come and say, "Wow, that's nice!" Mm -hmm. It was the first time that they uh, went to to or used that kind of resources and learn about chemicals, how the how the how it works, everything with the paper, the light. So it was a very interesting and the expression of the the face was wow. <laughs> They, they, are, they were very enthusiastic. So we, we were very fortunate to have a lot of images from the photographic workshop because they create a lot of imagery. And so our, our um, till screen and, and printing uh, workshop was, was, we have like many of the sources to do that. But uh, unfortunately we have, um, uh, the time was a little short for doing a little more um, like exp experiments with uh, like printing in different su su surfaces besides beside the paper and the and the fabric, but but yeah we they, uh, we, we think that they have at least the basic for seal screen so that was very very important also for for us and. And we did also the the postcard for the for the exhibition. So we were trying to to use uh, the skills we were learning in in the project to um, to make them realize that they can use those skills for also for doing things that are 
that can be like, uh, uh, they, that they can sell or or also they they can just make their their own workshops and some of the ideas that they um, um, of the um, the points that they um, uh, talk about when we ask them how they feel about the the project was that they wanted to continue the project in a, in, in some way because they they needed like a, a space like this and also like people like us or, or like all of you that help us um, very enthusiastically uh, motivating them in, in order to just to to not be afraid of um, um, of using materials and, and trying and just and making yeah, and experimenting and so that was I know very organic and very alive way of interacting with, with people. I think for me the most exciting part would have to be the people, honestly, because I see them now outside of PS1 or the workshops, and um, it's always like, what are you working on now, or when's the next class, are you guys going to have another class, mm -hmm. what, what is the deal, um, I think just, yeah, just the people, and then it was bizarre because sometimes the workshops wasn't about the actual work at some points, it was just about like talking about what was going on in Iowa City or like a um, bigger, in the bigger scope of things. Um, just interacting with people and like reminding myself uh, Spanish, which which was really fun. We are, or at least me, I feel um, happy with the idea that they they are uh, at this point. All of the participants are just looking the ways for continue working on for even if we we don't we for, unfortunately we we can continue with the. Uh, with the project for now, they are just thinking about how to to continue that because it's it's kind of a little seed that was was there and is in some way is growing. It is the the thing that uh, I most uh, I feel very pleased is that the we can do we can uh, did that everything that we propose. So it's uh, very nice for us to see all this uh, work that they did. And it's very nice to see that they, they have talent. They, have, they try to, to have time to doing this and to share with their family, with their family. The kids uh, sharing with us every time that we met. Here, so was a, it's like a little family mm -hmm. in Spain one in, in Saturdays and Sundays sometimes. So it was very, very nice. So I, it's, I enjoy it very much. Yeah. yeah, I remember one of the big reasons why, or uh, one of the big things that we kept putting on like every application was that we all just felt very alienated as Latinos here in Iowa. Um, how you usually don't see another Latino family, uh, you have to seek it out almost. Um, and thinking about the whole year, I, I can't even remember how many times we got like invited to a baptism or a communion right. or yeah. um, Marcella's child stayed at your house <laughs> yeah. or vice versa uh, or Francisca's. Um, when you asked her one point, how do you know such and such? Are you two good friends? And she said, Oh, we met in your class, and then yeah. it's it's just everyone is becoming like like you said a little family yeah. that started here. 